Up in the sky, a bird, a plane, nope, another light streaking across our sky, this time in the Bay Area. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. As the sky lit up, so did our phones, emails, and Twitter posts came pouring in about a streak of light over the Bay Area tonight. KPIX 5's David Jackson saw it with his own eyes. He'll describe it in a minute. But first, Kristen Ayers talked to astronomers tonight. Kristen? That's right. Scientists at Chabot Space and Science Center telling me tonight that the streak they saw across the sky was likely what's called a small sporadic meteor. That means it was not part of a larger meteor shower. Now, some of those reports of seeing that meteor started coming in around 742 this evening. People reporting it on Twitter and calling in at KPIX 5 to tell us they saw it. Uh, the uh, American Meteor Society had at least 20 reports on its website, and they said it was seen all across the West Coast from Seattle all all the way down to Big Sur. So lots of those reports pouring in all evening. Astronomers are actually telling us that these types of meteors are not all that uncommon, but they say the fact that that asteroid happened yesterday in Russia simply has more people watching the skies tonight. And of course, one of those people, KPX, P KPIX 5 reporter David Jackson joining us live now. And David, you saw it with your own eyes. I sure did, Kristen. I'm not surprised there would be a lot of response to this because it was mighty bright up there in the sky. I've seen plenty of meteors over the years, and I don't recall seeing one with such a tail and for quite as bright, I guess, of a light as uh, this particular one was. We're here working on another story in San Francisco at the time, driving in the van at the time, and I looked up immediately and saw this streak across what is for us the western sky looking toward the west and immediately looked at people on the sidewalk all looking up and pointing as well. So, yes, it was quite a moment. And, uh, and with all the meteor activity that we've heard plenty about over the last couple of days, um, no surprise that people were even more sort of taken by what they had just seen and uh, were looking at each other and saying, did I really see that? But yes, it was remarkable and uh, very interesting. We'll have more from the Mission District here coming up in just a few more minutes on yet another story. So right now, back to you. All right, David, thank you for that report. Of course, our little fireball uh, was really nothing compared to this monster. Take a look. Yeah. Yeah, and the sound that went with it, a 10-ton space bomb that went off over Russia yesterday, powerful enough to knock down brick walls. But until those final seconds in the skies over Chelyobinsk, no one saw it coming. In this day and age, how is that possible? KPIX 5 Sharon Chin tells us the answer, pretty simple. A bus-sized fireball exploded across the Russian sky. Dashboard video cameras captured the meteor, soaring an estimated 33,000 miles an hour with a force of 20 World War II atomic bombs. The explosion shattered thousands of windows and injured about 1,000 people in Chelyabinsk. The sonic boom felt in homes and classrooms. Astronomers call it cosmic coincidence that the meteor struck on the same day that an asteroid passed near the Earth. But why did we know about the asteroid a year in advance, yet have no warning about the meteor? It just snuck up on us, and that's not unusual for those small ones. Gerald McKeegan, astronomer at Chabot Space and Science Center, says the meteor was too small to detect by ground telescopes and radar. The meteor was only a third the size of the asteroid. The asteroid was about as big as a supermarket, and McKeegan says we're lucky it missed us. If something like that hits the ground, it's going to be pretty disastrous. Uh, it would be the equivalent of a two and a half megaton uh, nuclear bomb. You know, something if it hit downtown San Francisco, it would wipe out most of the city. The meteor in Russia smashed into an icy lake about 70 miles outside of town. Scientists say they will study the space rocks, hoping to discover the origins of the solar system. Some say what happened today is a wake-up call to better detect meteors and asteroids headed our way. In the Bay Area, some former astronauts are organizing a privately funded mission to build and launch an infrared telescope that orbits the sun and tracks asteroids and meteors before they hit the Earth. I'm guessing somebody's going to organize uh, a voyage to go into that lake and find what's down there. 
Absolutely. There is absolutely because we're talking about getting thousands of dollars, possibly more a pan. What makes them more valuable? These pieces is the fact that they were documented and that they cost damage. Wow, a lot of money. Sometimes to be they're made. platinum, iron based, all kinds of different elements there. Yes, good for profit and for research. Right, sure. Thanks for that.